Nature has been evolving technologies for billions of years. There are so many systemic approaches and technologies that we can learn from that are completely disregarded in sciences because they're just not uh, at the forefront uh, of, of what we do in industry. Hi, I'm Jess and today I'm here at Biome and I'm really excited to find out more about mycelium and the future of biomaterials. At Biome, we develop radical biotechnologies that are suitable for all kinds of industries and sectors. So that covers everything from microorganisms that can create materials that are high performing and circular to uh, microorganisms that can consume plastic. So it's, it's quite a wide range of, of technologies. All of our uh, materials and products and biotechnologies are designed with circularity at heart. We are driven by a very simple philosophy to allow nature to lead innovation and only have a positive or regenerative impact on everything we touch. And therefore, everything that we create needs to have circular, systemic and holistic approach built into its design. I started Biome to revolutionise the construction industry to demonstrate how um, there's so much knowledge that we can gain from nature's genius and there's so much that we can learn from the biotechnologies that exist in the natural world. I think the built environment is riddled with various uh, issues and, and challenges. Um, there's a lot of fragmentation within the industry. The way projects are carried through from idea to fruition um, is not usually done by one single entity. So there are lots of different entities with different aims and targets and goals uh, working towards trying to create um, an environment in which we can exist. Um, and I think what you end up with is a lot of compromises that result in sustainability or environmental and social impact um, not being at the forefront or not being the kind of main goal of, of this built environment. And I was completely blown away by the figures that came out of the construction industry. Not only was there so much more waste than is being recorded actually being created, but the types of waste being created were extremely hazardous for uh, biological life as well as for human health. So what do biome actually make? So we have three core biotechnologies. One of them is mycelium or the root structure of fungi. And we work with mycelium to create um, construction products like thermal insulation for buildings, um, as well as uh, acoustic insulation and uh, interior furniture and um, uh, building envelope uh, materials as well. The first one that's going to be introduced later this year is mycelium um, insulation panel, which I'm holding right here. Uh, it's an incredibly technical material. Um, it performs just as well or overperforms over on many parameters as the currently available sy synthetic alternatives. Um, and it's literally grown. Our second technology in our portfolio is called ORB, Organic Refuse Biocompound. And this technology is based on the idea of deconstructing the building blocks that are found in nature, specifically the chemical processes and elements. And we employ that understanding or appreciation of these building blocks, and then employ that to create this technology. So at the core of this technology is a plant-based binder, and that means we can utilize a variety of agricultural and food waste to create different types of products. What I'm holding is a sample of a construction board. So this is um, food waste bound with all binder to create a sheet material that can be an alternative to MDF, plywood, and OSB type of products. We've also developed a construction system known as Triagamy. Um, and Triagamy enables buildings to be deconstructed and reconstructed at any stage of their life. It achieves cost savings of about 95%, environmental savings of 120% when you compare it to brick and block construction. But where does the fungi come in and what makes it so special? So fungi have been around for a billion years. They've been the centre point to this cyclic regeneration of organic matter. Um, and within a forest ecosystem, they really are the centre point that dictates this regeneration of organic matter. And it's these capabilities that we can kind of bring from the forest into the lab and make use to transform waste that humans are generating. The products themselves have a perfect end of life, so they're completely biodegradable, cold compostable, and once in the ground, they not only give back to the soil, but actually aren't then polluting it um, as otherwise synthetic fabrics or materials would. 
Nature has been evolving technologies for billions of years. There are so many systemic approaches and technologies that we can learn from that are completely disregarded in sciences because they're just not at the forefront uh, of, of what we do in industry. Um, so understanding that there are all, there's this bank of knowledge available to us um, and once we start to actually learn from it and demonstrate the, the technologies in industry, we see the benefits directly by measuring the carbon savings, by looking at how we can achieve performance properties that are unheard of for natural materials. It really highlights how biomimicry is definitely the way forward. From the off, I think it's been just a fantastic place to be in the interface between science and industry and so much valuable science just kind of never makes it to real world applications but to kind of be able to work with industry get that crucial kind of info from science and really bring it into ways where it can make real world differences is just is just fantastic and it's just an absolute pleasure to work in what does the industry think so far We've had an incredible feedback from the industry. It's clear that over the years, there's been so much knowledge and information generated. So there is a lot of awareness of the benefits of the kind of products that we are developing and bringing to the market. These products are not only sustainably um, beneficial, but they also have a lot of sense financially and economically as well as socially. And this is something that the industry now is very fluent with and is very understanding of. So there is a lot of appetite um, towards the kind of products that we develop. Uh, so the feedback has been amazing, the support has been amazing, so we really can't wait to launch and bring these products on scale to the market and then all of us enjoy the positive impact that they will bring. The idea of creating circular construction comes with all kinds of challenges because you need to create high performing materials that are also conducive to end of life um, uh, solutions. But now with all the transitions that we're seeing, with all the major commitments that we're seeing from governments, from new policies coming into play, we're really seeing that becoming a possible future. I think for us at Biome that is the dream, is to go to an empty site and plant your home and uh, just watch it grow. Join me again next time for our Startup Spotlight, where we'll be delving into the refurbished tech startup, Backmarket. Market.